This Ask the Expert segment is sponsored by Coastal Aesthetics. Well, it's uh, winter time, and that means it's time to talk about dry skin. It's always a problem. We get the itchy skin, sometimes cracked skin. Here to help us uh, how to take care of it is uh, our Ask the Expert, Expert segment with Kimberly Smith. She's with Coastal Aesthetics. That's a medical spa. First of all, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Hey, first of all, how do you tell if your skin is dry? That sounds like a silly question, but is it just the itchy or is it the way it looks? How do we tell? That's actually the best uh, ways to kind of figure it out. You're dry, you're itchy, um, your moisturizers might really absorb quickly. Um, but really the biggest thing is you start to get kind of a red irritation um, and itch is probably one of the easiest ways to figure out if you're dry. Uh, what are the, some of the things you can try at home and you finally notice those symptoms with the itchy skin and everything? Yeah, with the changing in the weather, it's really common, but up here in Maine, we really need to make sure we have a good moisturizer. Um, we carry a couple of different brands. They're very, very rich. Um, you want to make sure that when you're putting on your moisturizer after you get out of the shower or wash your face, have your skin a little bit damp. The moisturizer will go on nicely, but that's the easiest thing to do at home is make sure you've got a rich moisturizer and put it on right after you get out when your skin's still a little bit wet. Uh, how do we know when we need to get medical treatment? I mean, sometimes we get the, uh, the skin where it gets cracks and maybe start bleeding. Is that a time to start seeking out medical attention or not? You're probably a little bit late into the game if, if that's the case. You really, the early signs, and really we tell everybody preventative care. So when you start to see someone like myself or your dermatologist, and you're starting to have some good skin experts work with you, the changing of the season come October, November is really when you should start applying your moisturizers or coming into an office like ourselves down here in um, York where we do a treatment called the Diamond Glow. And that's going to be a very gentle exfoliation but also a treatment that's going to infuse a customized serum, which is a hydrating serum for this time of year, to really put good moisture back into the cells where they need it so they can stay moisturized all winter long. How often should you be putting cream on or any kind of moisture on your legs and arms and everything else like that in the face? Ideally twice a day. Um, if you find that your skin, again, is really absorbing it quickly and you're still feeling dry, then you might want to increase to three times a day or check your ingredients. Make sure that your moisturizer doesn't have alcohol in it, which we know can dry us out. So we always recommend sticking with something that is a little bit more medical grade because it's not going to have that type of product with it um, just because it's a medical grade serum. But even over the counter, we people call us all the time. They really want to try to be budget friendly and we have great recommendations for over the counter. That is really good quality, but really two times a day should be ideal. If you are going up to three, then it might be time to seek someone out like ourselves down here. Uh, two other things to talk about. First of all, let's talk about hydrating and also can you take too many showers, too many baths, because I know that can uh, dry out your skin as well. Absolutely, you can. Um, really, you know, in, unless there's a reason that you have to shower every day, go to two to three times a, uh, a week. Um, you know, go every two to three days, I guess I should be saying. Um, there really is nothing wrong with that. We have great products to help with your hair. So if girls or guys are worried about their hair looking greasy, um, you might want to invest and stop, talk to your hair stylist about something you can do. But really lukewarm water. We don't want to be doing hot, hot water. And ideally every two to three days, unless you have to be showering every day. And if that is the case, you really want to be cool water. Nothing super hot that's going to dry your skin out even more. So. If you can, try to go every two to three days. And, of course, drinks lot, lots of water, too. Kimberly Smith with and, the uh, yeah, Coastal absolutely. Aesthetics. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it on this edition of Ask the Expert. Thank you.